morning sunrise. I hope that all of you are doing well and that uh, the Lord has looked after you during this lockdown. I know that he certainly has looked after me. Um, I'm ever so grateful that he has been with us and he continues to be with us. I want to share with you today in preparation for the Lord's Supper just some sayings that Jesus made on the cross and I want to focus on two of them and uh, each of them are just three words long. The first one we find is found in Luke chapter 23. In Luke 23, um, if you recall the entire episode leading up to Jesus dying on the cross, and uh, Jesus went through a lot of humiliation. Um, he was spat upon, he was rebuked, and he's up on the cross and people are hurling insults at him. And Jesus says three of the most powerful words of forgiveness. He said, Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Powerful words. Words that I cannot even begin to understand why he would do that. I know if it was me in his position, I would be wanting to rain down the terrors of the angels above on these people that were persecuting me. But Jesus doesn't do that. Jesus says, Father, forgive them. Three powerful words. In those words are some things that I want you to have a look at. First of all, Jesus calls out to his Father. Because he knows the Father is the only one that can do something about his situation. He knows that his Father is the one that has the power to forgive. He knows that his Father is the one that he calls out to at all times. I hope that we understand that. That God is our Father and he cares for us. So Jesus says, Father, forgive. And when Jesus is calling down for forgiveness from his Father... He's calling down on a forgiveness that holds no boundaries. A forgiveness that is unconditional. There's no condition attached to this forgiveness. These people didn't deserve to be forgiven. And nor do you and I. Nor do you and I. In John 3 and verse 16, I think one of the most powerful texts that speak about Jesus and God's love is, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever should believe in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Those that believe in Him will receive the Father's forgiveness. And then He says, Father, forgive them. And the them is not only referring to those that were at the cross, the them is referring to you and to me. To us who are sitting here today, that's what that is referring to. Because we fall way short of the glory of God. All have sinned. We all fall way short of His glory. And none of us deserve to be forgiven. But Jesus still forgives us because He died on a cross in order that forgiveness could be gifted to us. Could be poured out upon us who have no hope of forgiveness. So those are three powerful words of forgiveness. Father, forgive them. Then I want to look at three powerful words of victory. And those are found in John Chapter 19, verse 30. When Jesus has been through all of this, he's on the cross, he's, he's now gone through the anguish and the agony. And now he cries out to the Father and he says, It is finished. It is finished. And here's what he's saying in those three powerful words. He's saying, This task that you sent me to earth for, Father, the thing that you prepared me for, before time began, the thing that I've waited all eternity to do, I have fulfilled. I have come down and I have fulfilled those things. In Luke, Jesus says this, in Luke chapter 19 verse 10, says this, that Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. And he came to seek and save us. And so he did that. And on the cross, he had prepared everything that you and I would have the way to eternal life, that you and I would have the hope of eternity with God. And so he concludes those three words by saying, it is finished. There is nothing more to do. And for you and for me, there's nothing more for us to do. All that we have to do is accept Jesus Christ, let him be the Lord and Savior of our lives, commit ourselves to doing what he calls us to do, and it's because of him saying it is finished that we have the hope of eternal life. 
I pray that you'll be blessed this week. I pray that you'll be blessed as you partake of the emblems today. God bless. Thank you.